so what I have here, this was already in there at one point, and 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 I had some issues, <laughs> and I was worried it had moisture in it, so I took it out, cooked it again a little too much, it it kind of burned it, <laughs> but. I don't think that's going to be in the mold anyway. So I have my three pumps out of the out of the pumpers for fast set resin. Uh, this takes like 15 minutes or so to set up. So what I'm going to do is just dump this down here in the bottom, and hopefully by the time I'm done screwing around, mixing up the rest and coloring it, which it should be, this should be all set up and hold that down so it don't float. That that's all I'm looking at right now. However, that went with something like this, I think. But just put her in there and leave her be for now. All right, so I've got one of these just filled with resin. I'm gonna go 500 grams of resin, and because it's two to one, you go 45 grams per 100 grams of this. So another 225 grams, roughly, of this in each one of these for, you know, the total's gonna be like almost 1,500 grams of resin. I'm gonna use a stream, and I'm gonna use the interference blue. Now what I'm doing is I'm, I sent Jake a Blake, uh, I'm shake a jam, jam, jam. I, I sent Jake a blink along with the swamp stick one I sent him now we wanted to let him get that going and all and all and then you know he turned it and I regret sending it to him so I, I'm gonna use that piece of maple because it's pretty much the same piece I sent him almost and I'm gonna do it the same way so I'm gonna use the stream which I'm almost out of and a uh, alumalite interference blue which I am almost out of one of these is gonna get stream and interference and the other one's just gonna get stream and we'll go from there That should be, uh, oh yeah, look at that, stuck right to it. That's what we were looking for. What an interference blue. Bums me right out. How about that, huh? So anyways, we are going to go this route here. And then go this route here. didn't float. Ah, it's not really what I wanted, but I'll deal with it. Alright, well, I'm not sure how to deal with it at the moment. Do I want do I wanna do I wanna do do like Jake and do it upside down? Or do I wanna leave that as the bottom? I don't know. Look at how pretty that is. I just don't know. It absorbed quite a bit of it. Which is, uh, I should have made more. I was a little worried about it cracking, doing too much of a pour. So I didn't pour that much. I could have used, you know, this much more. Up to about there. <laughs> <sighs> um, yeah, I don't know what to do here. So, I get to figure out how to make that go away. <laughs> Alright, let me figure that out. Alright, so she didn't run too bad at 
1250. Uh, what I want to do is take this down and then I uh, forgot what I was going to do. <laughs> uh, I don't remember why I was doing it this way. <laughs> oh, I was going to do a, a tendon on the bottom, that's right. Even though it's upside down from what I would normally do it, I'm going to do it that way. So I just want to take that high piece out of there. So before I get too far along, I'm going to repair these uh, bug holes here. Some of them got resin in them, but some of them do not. So I'm going to try to repair these as best I can before I get too far here. Like that. That looks like it's soaked in resin, but some of this did not soak in resin. So. All right, so <clears throat> although I was going to go outside the box and do it this way like Jake did it with this piece down, uh, this big crack right here is bugging me. So I'm going to hollow it out because it doesn't come all the way out to the edge. So I'm going to hollow this section out and do it like I, I originally poured it. So I'm going to flatten this off. We're going to put a faceplate right here while it's still up so I can kind of get it as centered as possible. And I'll push the tailstock up with the live center in it <clears throat> to get it centered. And I'll run my screws in here and we'll flip it around and then I'll get this thing off the other side of it. I'll return. <laughs> Reversed. Uh, still 1250. I'm just going to try to smooth this up and figure out what I'm going to do with it.
think I liked that. I might cut this down a little bit more. Give me more of a taper underneath. This can come down quite a bit. I can lose another inch or so off the diameter of this. Right now I need to sharpen some tools. Quilting or curly, whatever you want to call that in there, looks pretty good. Hey, let me get some tools sharpened and I'll get back to finishing that up. screws things right up, don't it? <laughs> hey. All right, I don't know where it went. I can't even glue that back on and make it look good. All right, now what, folks? I kind of wanted to leave that in there, but oh well. <sighs> so what I think is... And I didn't think about it before I poured it is, I had sealed these pieces of wood with anchor seal. And the only thing I can think with it popping off like this is that it was down here on the surface and that's why that didn't stay. Uh, I'm, hope I'm hoping it stays there. <laughs> uh, Cause all I did was the ends of it, but that doesn't mean it didn't run down, you know? So that's the only thing I can think is why. Cause I just popped this off, it came right off. And what I wanted to see was how Bad that is. Well, it's not bad. I had to make that deeper again. Not something I planned to did. We'll get this deepened and we'll come back with the Bernie of the logo thingy in there. And I gotta reshape that a little bit. But I'll get that all done and we'll burn this and get the finish in it and get it flipped around. So I'm only gonna show you one coat. Myelin cellulose sanding sealer. I'm gonna do two and knock the burrs off in between. See that? Hopefully, I can turn that out. That's for me putting a screw in. There's actually two in it. <clears throat> One is the reason I turned it over because it would have been where I needed it to be, <laughs> right here. And then the other one's because I put a screw in. and I pre-drilled the holes, but apparently I didn't go big enough. And she cracked. Uh, so anyways, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. The restoring polish and get this flipped over and start the other side.
cannot do that. Okay. Mm. No, sir, you can't. Mm -hmm. You're still in the way. All right, so I think we'll get that sanded up. I got some ridges in here. I can't, I can't just do it. I just can't get it out. So I'm gonna sand it out. I got some little bug holes. I'm gonna have to fill right here too. We'll see if I can't get them sanded out. This is kind of vibrating and giving me some tear out now. So we'll sand it, get the sanding sealer on, ax paste, and then the restoring polish. <laughs> right. <laughs> there. Oh. Uh, oh, I can't get open. That was a lot more sanding than I wanted to do. <laughs> so I'm all sanded up to 320. I got most of the tear out out of there. I keep finding more holes and that's what my problem was. So I'm just going to go with it like I am. Uh, again, Mylon Sand and Sealer. Uh, it'll be in the description below, a link for it. Well, I don't think she looks too bad. Y'all can come over here and take a better look, I guess. How's that? Is that too close? Mm. So I don't really have, I got a little bit of the crazy green pattern here. Can from up here. Um, you, you got it here. Some, most of it's here that you see. And a little bit there. But that's what you get. I don't know why that's got something in it. <laughs> I don't know what's down in there. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> it's a hard maple. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to say. <laughs> it's moved. I don't know if it's because I got it hot or what, but it's it's not. You can see it wobbling here on the edge. Woo, 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 you know. I don't know why it's moved. It was dry. I cooked it. <laughs> really kind of cool looking. Anyways, uh, let me get this off here, and we'll get it over there and talk about it, I guess. Give you a closer look anyways. phone's got a better camera in it. Uh, I'm going to stand on my toes. Look. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Uh, anyways, um, there we go. Uh, you can see the interference, kind of. I'm going to get it up here close enough so you can see it. It's in there. You can see it a little better outside than you can in here, anyways. I can't see what I'm doing because... Kim's yeah buddy in me. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it went away finally. Hey, uh, it turned out nice. I sanded it a lot more than I really wanted to, and I probably should have went a bit smaller uh, with the base, a bit big. And then I got to quit get drilling. I got to quit drilling the hole so deep for my circle cut jig on my bandsaw because I keep ending up with this little clear spot, and I don't live that far north in Michigan. <laughs> I, I live. Now, about somewhere in between the center of that dot and the bottom of the state. Uh, it did turn out cool. I didn't quite get the nice effects that Jake got. Uh, but I do like the bug holes. Looking through the bug holes. It's really cool looking. You see there. Those are all really cool. There's a couple little other cracks or air bubbles that were trapped in them. But the bug holes are, are, are they make the whole thing for me. <laughs> The bug holes is to it. But anyways, uh, really the whole reason I did this was to, not really that I had any problems with, uh, I'm gonna mess that all up, didn't I? <laughs> uh, I didn't have any problems sending that blank to Jank and I didn't really regret it. Um, I did this so that we could send you all over to him again, uh, only this time, because he's trying to tweak his channel. And this time you all go over there, constructive criticism. Give him 
what you like, what you don't like, uh, what he might need help with. And she's used to his style. And he's trying to tweak it for everybody else. And so that's what we're doing. I'm just trying to help him out. Uh, we let him go on his own on this one. It did, I mean, all right. I'm not sure what, what grade it is for his channel. You know, I, it did all right, I guess, for, for his channel. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, and I'm just sending you over there to give him some constructive criticism when we're trying to help him out for what you want to see and what you don't want to see or what you like or don't like about his channel. I've seen him do it and I know he can do it and y'all need to help him out. So anyways, I'll put pictures up at the end. Uh, I did get some stickers. No, I got a sticker. Wayne, Burf, Big, Big, Bigfoot, Wood, Woodcrafts sent me a sticker. I got it, Wayne. I know you got yours already. Uh, who else? Anybody? 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 I think that was it. I got goodies from Kim Tippin. <laughs> Of course, you know. Uh, thank you, Kim. I'm not quite sure what to do with some of that stuff yet. And we'll see y'all next week. It won't shut up. It won't shut up.